Jams, jellies, and preserves have graced the breakfast table of homes all over the world for centuries. Spread on toast, eaten in a peanut butter sandwich, or with Swedish meatballs, these fruit-based condiments both delight and confuse. Is there a difference between them? What's the diff? At its most simple, it's the type and size of fruit that are used. Jams are made with the pulp of one fruit rather than multiple fruits, and it has been cooked with sugar and pectin until syrupy and thickened. Most discernible pieces of fruit are gone as they've completely cooked into the syrup, making this spread spreadable. Classic jams are fig, raspberry, and strawberry. Jellies are fruit juices or syrups that have been cooked with sugar and pectin. There are no chunks of fruit in this spread, and it is the co-host in the inimitable peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This one is the easiest to spread and the most reminiscent of Jell-O. Grape and strawberry are the most common kinds of this one. Preserves are whole fruits that are cooked in syrup and pectin until broken down and syrupy. This method preserves the fruit, hence the name. Strawberries, blueberries, cherries, and other small fruits are best for this. How can you tell that your jam, jelly, or preserve is done cooking? The freezer test is the best way to test doneness. Spoon a small amount onto a plate and place in the freezer for five-ish minutes. Once it is cooled, run your finger through the condiment and if it keeps the line, it's ready to go. And if you don't know, now you know. Find awesome jam, jelly, and preserve recipes on allrecipes.com. Until then, see you next time. That's my jam.